Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. We're teaching an early linguistic programming class this morning, and one of the things that I want you to realize is that every time I teach this class, it is amazing how we learn about our language and how important it is to understand the dynamics of the things we say. In your life every day, one of the things I want you to be aware of you may be saying things that someone else totally understands in a new way. One of the fascinating things about our language patterns are it really comes from a place inside of our mind that is kind of automatic from our subconscious mind. And if we're not aware of exactly our perceptions of the world and how someone else's perceptions of the world can be different, we get ourselves in all kinds of tangles because people understand this not from our intention, but from what they understand, we said. When I work with couples and when I work with people in business, one of the greatest problems in any couple's relationship or business relationship is understanding the complex equivalencies of how everyone understands the world a little bit differently. You hear me talk about this all the time. And one of the things I think each of us have to do, as with the people learning this class here today, is to understand at a deeper level the true meaning of what we are saying and how it can be interpreted by so many different people and how to watch out for that and what to do about it. In our language, there are protection mechanisms that are designed to protect us. However, sometimes it perpetrates a triggering mechanism on someone else. And people ask me all the time, what can I do about that? How can I eliminate those in my life or at least avoid them? And one of the first things I have to be cautious of telling people is you have to be up time and many people don't understand what that means it means be conscious of your intention in what you're saying as we start out this brand new week today I want you to realize that our intentions sometimes are never understood by another person even as much as I know about this many times I even get in trouble because I may say something unconsciously thinking someone else is going to understand what I'm saying and all of a sudden I find myself having to explain my intention behind it and sometimes that still doesn't even work especially if you really hit someone else's trigger and they really go off on you today I want you to be willing to take total responsibility for firing else or firing someone else's triggers. Even though their triggers are their business, sometimes it can be your business to deliver your intention so people understand it a little bit differently. Sometimes even saying I'm sorry can't hurt. So many people get hung up in that one because they don't think they're wrong. What difference does it make? Just allow yourself to get back in rapport with someone. And sometimes if they understand that you realize that they don't understand your intention and all you want to do is let them understand what you were saying was not meant to hurt them. What you were saying was meant to share conversation and information with them. When we're working with our families, no one can punch our triggers more than our families. So as we come into the Thanksgiving holiday season, families are coming together and many families dread Thanksgiving because there's always these conversations come up where someone else triggers someone else. Be aware of that by first of all being uptime and understanding no people understand anything exactly the same. And if you'll just be aware of that, understanding when you're going to say something to someone, especially if they seem a little bit volatile, deliver your intention first. Just by simply saying, the reason I want to say this to you is this. My intention would be such and such. If you'll practice that with your kids, with your boss, with your employees, with your family, and with your loved one, you're going to find really it gets a little smoother and a little easier to navigate through all this linguistic shrapnel. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. And I really appreciate all the feedback on the cruise. We're looking forward to having you on board. So let's make that happen. And remember, today is your someday. Until next time, bye-bye.